Hi guys, if uh, you're new to the channel, this is John Paul and this is Hank. Hank the Tank. The South African Mastiff, Borbal. Hank's nearly four years old now, guys. Look, look at the shoulders coming on really well. Got really nice markings as well. Perfect on both shoulders. Um, nice silky coat. Shaping up really well. So, Hank's got a whole chicken today. All I've done is just cut a breast off myself, my own tea, and I'll give him the rest. Um, just pop down as that. Bought some fish. You get this uh, on the uh, well on the sale um, display on one of the uh, one of the counters, one of the oil. Sorry, um, just twenty pence. Look, two um, smoke kippers. So I'll try and give Hank as much fish as I can. So I'm not going to give it him tonight, though, guys, because it's. I'd only give him too much. But this is this is basically uh, Hank's freezer. We've got his salmon in there, lamb's hearts. Just frozen salmon, so he'll have a couple of a couple of pieces of that. There's my ice cream at the back, a little bit of bread. <clears throat> but um, bought this for him as well. One pound, so I'll stick that in the freezer. It's, um, I forget what it's called now, but it's whole fish. Yeah, so pan guys, really cheap, so I'll throw that in the freezer for him. <clears throat> like I say, this is pretty much, this is pretty much Hank's uh, freezer, you know. Yeah. So, what we've got here, guys, is the fruit and the veg. His broccoli, his baby broccoli, <clears throat> his carrots, and it's a mixture of mine as well, obviously. Um, his yogurt, fat free, natural yogurt, free range. So, any sort of small allergies or stuff that your dogs have got, I find that this works really well. Yogurt builds up their uh, immune system. So, I hang also have an apple a day blended with a banana and then what I do is I stick it in there and I always blend the fruit and the veg now guys because it's micronutrients and uh, they manage to get all of it out well all the nutrients out of the um, fruit and the veg <clears throat> I mentioned this the other day guys this joint side so yeah it's two scoops of that of a nice two scoops of a the morning they don't. so yeah guys it's just on the chicken today and he'll have a couple of scoops of uh, natural yogurt in a bit as well. But as you can see, his neck's really nice and big. He's got a really big head on him. <clears throat> big bone structure. And I've got him booked in again for hydrotherapy um, on the water treadmill on the 3rd of uh, Jan. He hasn't been for about eight or nine months because I've had too much going on. But I've got it through the insurance and it's just a long going... Uh, I'm going to think that I just want to get him into a guy in every two weeks intense and then drop it down to once a month. His insurance has gone up anyway from £40 to £90 so I might as well uh, get as much as I can get out of it guys. But it helps build up the back legs, build up the muscle, helps with the hips, helps with the joints. It's the way he's standing there guys but he's got a much bigger backside than that. Oh, his tail's four inches, that comes out his back. <laughs> Won't be left alone, don't you know, Hank? To have your dinner. So yeah, guys, just a really quick video, really. Um, just a diet, some food, and what he gets. I mean, it just cost me a hell of a lot of money. Um, working out the other day with supplements and insurances and food, meats. Um, he's on the Oregon, which is in there. He has that of a morning Oregon kibble. And I'm probably spending about two thousand three hundred pounds a year, but that's everything. That's uh, his, his, all his food, all his supplements, his fruits, his veg. Um, and it's well worth it, guys. I don't spend it on anything else. I don't go out drinking and I don't smoke. So I put it into the dog. And um, with these big giant breeds, I don't, I don't think that you can cheap on the food or the diet at all. You see some people on Facebook groups and stuff like that. They just feed, just, just kibble full stop. But I like to give both. He's got a good rounded mix of uh, diet then. And he likes his apples, he likes his bananas. Um, and yeah guys this is pretty much Hank's fridge as well some bits and pieces in there of my own 
But there's his apples. There's his yogurt, free range. Fat free. That's really good to uh, help the immune system, guys. So, Hank's had a couple of is uh, ear issues. No matter what I've done, cleaned them out. I know some are down to his diet. But um, since I've started giving him the, uh, the yogurt, it's actually worked quite well. So, yeah, there's his um, carrots as well. I blend everything now, guys. His carrots, his broccoli, his spinach. He has peppers, bananas, apples. I blend a lot. Um, just stick it in a blender and bl blend it all together. And I stick it in with his yogurt. Sometimes I put it straight in with his food. Um, but it's, it's, it's really good that way because it's just like a smooth lock we'd have ourselves. It breaks all the food, um, the veg down. The fruit down and uh, they get the micronutrients out of it what i did um see before when i used to feed them apples is even if i cut it up into little bits sometimes in his store you see little bits of apple so he wasn't getting all of it um getting the, the maximum benefit of it so i blend everything now the fruit and the veg together um we have chicken eggs uh, duck eggs which i've got in there i've just been down the farm and bought some duck eggs sometimes i blend the whole duck eggs up and sometimes i just give them in raw with the shell but um, yeah, guys, as you can see, he's really enjoying his chicken. Thank you, mace. We're looking at them shoulders. Good there, mace. Give it there. Good lads. Good lads. That's it. That's it. Good lads. That was my finger then, Hank. But yeah, guys, just a quick video, really, <clears throat> of Hank today and um, what, he's, what he's having to eat. So if you've got any comments, guys, drop them in the uh, the comments box. If you can smash the like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and switch on your notification bell as well, and then obviously you'll get updates all the time. But any comments, anything you need to know really about giant breeds or just dogs in general. I'm 47 years old now, and I've owned, I've owned dogs since I was um, sort of, what, 17, 18. So there's not a lot of that I don't know about them, as in about training, diets, cleaning ears allergies all sorts of stuff guys so yeah just let us know and i'll speak to you soon um over and out thanks a lot guys bye bye